Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoody London. This is the case of the idol quadruple murders. May the four victims rest in peace. Condolence to their families. May justice be correctly served. To start with, this is for entertainment purpose only. These are speculations and some facts. If you look at this picture, I received it from a source. I was surprised when I saw this picture, this picture and another picture, these pictures actually. I wasn't sure if I should put it up there. If you look on the right hand side, the car that you see at this corner with the lights on is a body cam footage of the alcohol minor stop. I've always said that I believe something happened in Taylor Avenue. You can look at the date above, it says the 13th of November 2022 at 3 15 and 55 minutes i believe this is evidence look on the left hand side you see an arrow pointing to figures and an arrow pointing to murphy you see a figure of a person if i bring it closer And the other arrow looks like Murphy, actually. And they looks like, it looks like there are three other figures behind the figure itself, or two of them. It depends what everyone sees, actually. The white car you see straight ahead, there's actually somebody sitting inside it. I'll show you all. So this is an enormous person who sent it to me. Could be someone from the college or it could be someone who just watches the case and wants justice for the four victims. So I appreciate the person sending it. It's up to everyone what they believe. But I can clearly see figures there. These are right behind the tree. Or bushes. It really makes sense to me because Maddie's jacket was found around those areas. Pay attention to the time. It's 3.15. At 3.12... I believe is when the four or five figures are running. So all this comes into play when we are hearing stop it, stop. It could have been coming from this side. You can see someone inside this car clearly. He's got a lampshade or something on his head. He's trying to cover himself obviously. And if you pay attention next to his car Outside, there's somebody standing and kneeling on the car. A figure, I believe. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks to me. If I'm not wrong, there's a figure on the left-hand side, too. You can still see the white car still parked there. So all this was happening in the parking place. So these are th the two pictures I'd really like to show you all. For me, it looks like there are many figures, actually. There's one figure we see directly, and we see the dog. The figure looks like they're sitting, I think. And there are three figures behind him, unless it's just shades, which I doubt. 
So there was a lot of activities going on near the band field, which I always thought of, which I saw always mentioned. Trigger warning, but I just want to show you all how many weapons are around and these are the surviving roommates playing with weapons, sharp edge knives. So was that Jack D and his dog who had Murphy there? Could it have been possible that Kayleigh and Maddie went for a walk with Murphy and somebody attacked them because Maddie, his jacket was on the floor? You can actually see the Sigma Chi fraternity from behind. So this was happening right in the parking place where the police were. Isn't that strange? You see better now, you have the figure there and you have allegedly Murphy the dog. What were they doing in the car park? This was the girl who was wearing a hat and like a pajama pant in the grub truck. She was watching this on a mobile device while the crowd was yelling Zana. I don't know what the figure is. That was around 2 a.m. This was the guy in the Banfield video stop. Many people were debating if he had on a glove. And I kept on saying he had on one glove. I don't know what kind of glove it is. Could it be the ones that you use to protect yourself from cutting yourself? I wouldn't know, but you can clearly see that he has a glove on. These are blurry, but this was what Saeed was watching on his phone. It looks like a woman to me standing. Somebody behind her, but I could be wrong. You have the same picture of someone in the car, but this is in black and white. He has like a lampshade or something on his head and you can see somebody standing outside talking to him. This all needs to be investigated, I guess. This, the, this was the glove that Chris McDonough from the interview room found. This is one long glove and isn't it strange the guy had only one glove on. Did he lose his glove in front of the house? These were the figures running. This one clearly has on a hoodie. Didn't Jack John Showalter have on a white hoodie? Allegedly. And you can see them running near a car. I wonder if it's the same white car that the guy was sitting in. Trigger warning once again. This picture was circling around social media in the beginning because a person wearing this kind of mask and this jacket was seen. That's why this picture was circulating. It was even on Dylan's Snapchat, but she deleted it or put it in private. It was from that night. This is what Saeed was watching on his phone. I tried showing it before, it was very, very blurry. 
It's still blurry, but you can see it looks like three people sitting on the floor, sitting on their knees, and one person standing and facing them, pointing at them, or he has something on them. This was on Saeed's phone too. These were the pictures I believe they all were watching. It's a guy with a white ski mask on, or he painted his face white. This is Jack D on top of the roof. What is interesting is there's a white Hyundai Elantra parked downstairs. And I heard he sold his white pickup car a week after the quadruple murders. I don't know if it's a Hyundai he sold. Back to that picture. Imagine this was all happening right behind the officer's car, behind the bushes. You can see the Sigma Chi there. This person is trying to cover himself with a lampshade or some kind of weird cap. There's the picture again. They're not very clear, but the reason I decided to show you all these pictures is to make you understand that they were actually people in Taylor Avenue or Taylor Lane. And we saw the figures running from that direction. So it all can't be a coincidence. Maddie's jacket allegedly was found there too. This is a picture of Jack D the next day. Pay attention to his eyes, his nose, his lips. People were saying he was crying. I don't think it's about crying. He was in a fight. You can see that from his eyes. Why didn't Kaylee's family believe Jack D in the beginning? The shadows I showed you all and the person I showed you all sitting in the car was right behind the tree that you see over here, behind this guy on the edge. Look at them watching their mobiles right in front of the undercover cops. Strange. This was a footage taken in Linda Lane. These guys come out of a private ride or taxi, I guess. Found this on TikTok. So this is Linda Lane. So I believe there was something happening in Linda Lane. Maybe with Kay, uh, with Zana and Eaton. And I think Maddie and Kaylee, something happened to them in Taylor Avenue and near the house. So here you have the whole picture. You see Murphy and you see the shadow there. But I believe behind the shadow, behind the person sitting there, or standing, the other shadows above him. And the timing is even there, 13th, 11th, 2022, 
zero three fifteen and fifty five seconds. You can still see it's the same parking lot. You see the white car there. And you see somebody inside the car. And if I'm not wrong, somebody's sitting inside the car too, besides the person sitting in the front. We have somebody standing on the side. You can see the figures. It's one or two figures. I don't know if this is somebody hiding behind the car. So a group of people were outside actually. And you can see the Sigma Chi on the right hand side, the blue house, purple house. So this guy was in a white car himself, or silver car. Could that be the car that the police were searching for? Brian Christopher Koberger couldn't have been here at these timings that the police are talking about. These boys knew exactly what was going on. They knew people were hiding in their cars.